Check this out. Look at this. Make sure there's no tangles. Spotted tilapia. Yeah. So those things breed like crazy if we were to get a couple more. About that. F wow. I'm gonna go inside. Here's the three settings. That right there is the water fountain. Here we go. Water fountain. Three, two, one. What is going on, crows? Welcome back to another video. You see where I'm standing? You see behind me? Today's video is also sponsored by BetterHelp. More on them in just a little bit. Now you may be wondering to yourself, what the heck pond are you stocking today? Well, it's a pond that I have not touched in months since I've dug it. This is the duck pond. It is halfway full of water so far. I've been filling it the last couple of days, but I've had to stop overnight to really figure out the way I have to keep water going in and then evaporating at the same time to keep it level. It's, it's a whole long, how do you do? We have at least like 75% of this pond filled up already. I mean, look at this thing, it's huge. It's, it's bigger, way bigger than I thought once it's filled up with water and it's not even fully filled yet. Anyway, there was a lot of steps. When I mean a lot, a lot of steps to make that right there possible. And just in a couple seconds, we're gonna put a water fountain inside that pond as well. You see this little trench right here? Hector and his guy were just here the other day, kind of like a week ago, and we put electricity out here so we could plug our water fountain in. So that was step one of everything. Now step two happened about six, six months ago. I mean, I've literally had this footage sitting in a folder on my computer for over six months. And that footage is when I bought the water fountain for this pond. So I'm gonna roll those clips and then from there, we're gonna pick right back up here. Hey, past Paul here. I feel like these days we're only obligated when we see something, we have to buy it now before it sells out and completely is never touching a shelf again. So we have a water fountain here. Why is this so much bigger and that's so much smaller and then this one's only $600 but that one's still $1,300. I'm confusion. Is that not the exact same thing? That's labeled wrong. It has to be labeled wrong. It is, 100%. Okay, so this is the price. That's enough. It's, it's much better. Duck fountain. <laughs> you didn't even know where I was filming at. No, I was like, <laughs> Now that we've got this fountain and we're back at the pond that has water, enough water to actually finally place this fountain inside, that's what it could look like. There's three different settings too. So we can either do that one, we could do this one, or we could do this one. And at the old house, we had this one going in the duck enclosure. This was the one I usually liked. And these fountains will last about two, three years until they start to get clogged and you have to do a lot of maintenance on them and then it's almost just worth buying a brand new one. But now there's one more step before we get to the fountain. You see this trench right here, it's long. It's very, very long. It's all the way to the other side of my house because that's where my well is, where the water is brought up from the ground. You know, Hector could probably live in a mansion with the amount of work that I give him. But this right here is the valve. Now, we have water flowing. Hey everyone, I'll be there in just a second. Oh look, look at this. Not to get too far off topic, but Lady May Mango's enclosure's done, meaning they're coming very, very soon. Check this out. Look at this. Boom, baby. This is their enclosure. Now we still have to build a house before they come, and then obviously have to get a gate for this right here. So they'll be in here temporarily once the building is built right here, because it'd be a 1,400 square foot building right there. Yes, that big. For all my fish and stuff like that, that building will be right there. This will become another enclosure and it'll stay open, this gate will be open, so they have all this. And there'll be a little bit of moving animals around, so I think those 11 pigs will come here because this is shaded more, there's more pigs, and the more room. So they'll have all this, and if I ever rescue an animal or something, we just close this gate right here, and we got another enclosure. And then Lady May Mango will probably go over here with some emus or something, who, what? Anyway, this long trench right here is providing the water and it will be constantly providing water to stay at the correct level for this pond to stay at the correct level. And I filmed all that as well. From there, all the way down. This trench is literally perfect. It's, it's pretty deep too. Hector, what's up man? What's going on? You almost done? Yeah, you guys, I literally just woke up. We started 7.30 this morning. Jeez. Yeah. So the valve right here we just turn on. Holy moly. <laughs> the water beat me by a mile. So after steps and steps to get to this moment right here, quite literally weeks worth of work, we finally got the fountain here, all the electricity ran, plumbing done, pond is filling up, we're good to go. 
It's almost time to get ducts, but of course we need the building first to do anything because that's how we'll be able to finish the enclosure. Having things just slowly come together here. When this building goes up, it is gonna be insane content. So if you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button down below and make sure to turn that little bell on and click all so that you're notified every time I upload a video. Anyway, this thing has been taking forever to fill. I mean, it's a lot of water and keep in mind, it's also going into the ground, of course, because groundwater. So I gotta keep it at a certain level. We'll figure it out eventually. Believe it or not, Mother Nature actually helped me fill this up more than the hose itself. It's been about two and a half hours and we're about that far. Wow. I'm gonna go inside. Thanks Mother Nature for helping me fill my pond. Bit terrifying, but it did help, thank you. Pond is filling up, I say uh, we're gonna give this a couple hours to just fill up a little bit more and get this water fountain finally, finally after so long into its pond. And while we wait for the water to fill up, here's a word from today's video sponsor. Thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Better Help. H-E-L-P. If you think you might be feeling depressed, stressed, anxious, or just overwhelmed, BetterHelp is here to help you. BetterHelp is truly amazing. It offers licensed therapists who are there to help and listen to you. Talk to a therapist in a private, online environment at your convenience. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network. That gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. You just fill out a questionnaire to help assess your specific needs. And then you get matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Then you Schedule secure phone and video sessions. Plus you can exchange unlimited amount of messages and everything you share is completely confidential. At any time you can request a new therapist, no additional charge. Now join the other two million plus people who have taken action on their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. Click the link down below and get 10% off your first month at betterhelp.com slash Paul Cafaro. That is BetterHelp dot com slash Paul Cafaro for 10% off your first month. I wish all of you nothing but the best of luck and I'm glad I could share this to maybe help one of you Cafaros out there that may be dealing with stress, anxiety, depression, whatever it may be. Just click that link down below and you have that someone that's not a family or friend to just kind of chat with 24-7. We're back and it's time to put our water fountain in and then we're gonna go get fish to stock this pond. Not many, but a little bit. Of course, we're gonna do a bigger stocking video coming up here soon. Look at that, I still haven't opened it for months. I think this is the different settings that you can have the fountain. Here's the three settings, the three different settings. I remember this one was always super, super nice, but this is the one that goes tall, this is the one that goes straight up. I think we're gonna give this one a try first. We're gonna keep these to the side because we can always switch to them. So this right here is actually a sensor. It'll sense the sunlight, uh, and then when it goes dark, it'll turn these lights right here, all three of these, on. That right there is the water fountain. That thing is sick. Boom, the outlet's right here. We got the cord all the way down this way. Of course, we will bury all of that. Um, look how clear the water is. I mean, very, very, very clear. It looks actually clearer in person, but yeah, yeah. I got the fountain right here, and then it literally just, oh, it's nice and cold too. And then these little holes in the side, we're gonna tie ropes to, and then stick these little stakes in the ground, which will keep it centered in the middle of the pond. I'm just wondering if this setting is gonna be like too, uh, wide for this pond. We also have the other setting that will work for sure. I guess there's only one way to find out. And it's the moment of truth, Caferos. We're gonna plug the fountain in, here we go. Here we go. Water fountain. Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's sick and it sounds so beautiful, I love it. That's the exact setting, 100%. You got the small, the medium, and the one large. I bought this probably like a year ago. Still haven't opened it. Having lead weights on your cast net is key, fellas. It sinks faster. Let's cast net some fish. Hopefully first cast we catch like three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. How to throw a cast net, you may ask. You wrap it around your arm, take a couple loops, grab the horn of the net right here. I've showed this a couple times on my channel, but if you're new here, this is how you throw a net. You have the horn of the net, loops, middle of the cast net. Now if the net's bigger, there's a different way to throw it. This is just for like six and under, right? You could probably do this with like an eight foot or two. You can either throw this over your shoulder or you can put it in your mouth. Make sure there's no tangles. Anyone want pancakes for breakfast? We got a bluegill. Now this right here is called a bluegill. Unfortunately, if FWC was to be watching this video and I put this in my pond, I'd probably get a ticket or go to jail. It's considered a game fish here in Florida. Who knows why? People use them as bait all the time. I definitely never have. I'm not gonna do it on video. <laughs> There it goes. Now you got that out of the way. <laughs> Beautiful bluegill. I quit. I got another spot though, I got another spot. There is a lot of fish, but they're all about to go in this pipe. 
shark double. We got one out of 20 that were there. Spotted tilapia. Yeah. It's one of those like water dog things. I don't know. Aerator is on. As you can see, we've got our fish. Successful trip to our little puddle here by the house. That thing is barely is any, there's literally barely any water in there. All right, we have our fish. We're back at the house. I'm gonna reach in here. Grab the first culprit. Here's that super weird fish. I don't know what it's called. We're gonna release him. Big old tilapia. Our actually our only blue tilapia that we caught today. You know it's crazy when we got the first house and we released the tilapia in there, there then became thousands of tilapia. So those things breed like crazy if we were to get a couple more. I got these little cichlid things now. Uh, if you guys know what those are, let me know in the comments. You can really see how clear the water is on the GoPro. And that's it, that's all we got. We got uh, like five fish for the pond. Beautiful water fountain is now in the pond. The duck enclosure is one step further to getting these ducks over to the house. Gary and the whole squad. It is still filling up with some crystal clear, fresh well water. Look at that fountain right there. Wow, wow. And at night it's gonna look incredible. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. What? I think we should go to the pet store and buy a goldfish. How many? I think we should just buy everything. Every single goldfish. Yeah. Every single. Everyone. But you could see them because the water's so clear and they'll get bigger. That's a great idea, dude. Give me some skins. Yeah. Fantastic. 30,000 likes and your boy is going to go to the store and buy every single goldfish. Smash that like button if you want to see that. We'll load this palm with as many goldfish as that store can carry. Again, big shout out to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. Those links are down below and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.